The origin of the Vietnam War, a pivotal conflict in American history, dates back at least 350 years before its conclusion in 1975 with the fall of Saigon. This conflict was rooted in the early efforts of Catholic evangelization in Indochina, mainly by France, marking the beginning of a long series of events that eventually led to the intervention of the United States and its shameful withdrawal in 1973. France established French Indochina, including Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, facing nationalist resistance. Ho Chi Minh led the French defeat in the First Indochina War in 1954, which led to the Geneva Accords and the creation of communist North Vietnam and U.S.-backed South Vietnam. This led to the Second Indochina War or Vietnam War, where the U.S. suffered a significant defeat between 1955 and 1975. This video addresses the key events leading up to the Vietnam War, highlighting its impact on the history of the United States. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. Jesuit missionary Alexander de Rhodes arrived in Vietnam in 1624, introducing Christianity and writing the first catechism in Vietnamese, marking France's first significant contact with Vietnam. After spending 26 years in Vietnam, missionary Alexander de Rhodes returned to Europe, advocating for more evangelizers and the creation of a strong native clergy to bolster Catholicism and prevent its decline as in Japan. He expressed concern about the power of the local kings and the need for direct support from the Holy See. In 1787, the future emperor of Vietnam, Zhang, signed a treaty with French King Louis XVI, offering France territorial concessions in exchange for protection. Following Hollande's death in 1820, he was succeeded by Minh Mai, who adopted a more hostile stance toward France and sought to reorient relations with the emperor. Despite this, French influence in Vietnam continued to grow, establishing a stronger presence in the region and laying the groundwork for future tensions and conflicts. In 1824, the French king sent a mission to Vietnam, but Emperor Ming Mang ignored it. Ming Mang later banned the entry of missionaries and the Catholic religion in 1833, infuriating France. Tensions escalated when Ming Mang blocked the entry of French missionaries, arguing that Western Christianity corrupted his people. In 1835, French priest Joseph Marchand was murdered amid persecutions in Vietnam, provoking outrage in France. Emperor Ming Mang had previously expressed his concern about the negative influence of Western Catholic missionaries on local customs and had ordered the elimination of those abuses to protect the country's traditional culture. Between 1858 and 1885, France waged war against the Vietnamese Empire Dai Nam and its Chinese allies. This war culminated in a French victory, leading to the formation of French Indochina in 1887, including Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Hostilities began with the attack on Da Nang in 1858, followed by the invasion of Saigon in 1867, backed by Spain. King Tu Duc ceded three southern provinces to France, which later annexed three more, creating Cochin China. Subsequently, the French seized the rest of Vietnam after winning several battles in Tonkin. The French expelled most of the Chinese soldiers from Yanam, and China recognized French dominance in the region. In 1858, a French-Spanish fleet attacked Da Nang but was repelled. Later, they captured Saigon and other areas of the lower Mekong. In 1882, China sent troops, but France conquered Hanoi in April 1882. Following Riviere's death in May 1883, the French parliament decided to conquer Vietnam. The war ended in June 1885 with China recognizing French dominance in Vietnam through a peace treaty. The Cochin China Campaign, from 1858 to 1862, was a series of French military operations to conquer Vietnam, initiated with a joint French-Spanish expedition against the Vietnamese state ruled by the Nguyen dynasty. The Cochin China War marked the beginning of France's conquest of Vietnam. Started as a response to the persecution of Catholic missionaries, it became an effort of imperial expansion. This culminated in the establishment of French dominance in part of Vietnam, with the creation of the colony of Cochinchina. The Saigon Treaty of 1862 restored the Catholic faith and solidified French influence in the region. The Saigon Treaty reinstated the Catholic faith in Vietnam and ceded territories to France. In 1873, an expedition led by Garnier conquered Tonkin. The Franco-Chinese War of 1884-1885 was a conflict in Vietnam between France and China. 
China performed better in the 19th century Franco-Chinese War, but negotiations with France led to the cession of its sphere of influence in northern Vietnam. Although China lost politically, the war strengthened the control of Empress Dowager Cixi. The formation of French Indochina included Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia until 1954. In 1898, France incorporated the Chinese enclave of Guangzhou into French Indochina. Although local sovereigns were left in power, France exercised real control. In the 20th century, anti-French revolts emerged in Vietnam, such as the founding of Duy Tang Hoi in 1904 and massive demonstrations in 1908. In 1913, insurrections broke out in Hanoi and Cochin China. During World War I, France recruited nearly 100,000 Vietnamese to fight or work in Europe. Many returned to Vietnam embittered, joining anti-colonial movements. The Vietnamese population suffered tax increases to finance the French war effort, with about 12,000 Vietnamese dying in combat. In 1914, France considered selling French Indochina, and Japan, an ally of the Allies, took the German colony of Tsingtao. Despite its support for Vietnamese secessionist movements, Japan proposed to buy French Indochina. During and after World War I, relations between France and Japan strengthened, with Tokyo becoming a major creditor of Paris. France established a surveillance state in Vietnam to prevent revolts instigated by Germany or the Bolsheviks. Governor General Albert Saro centralized police forces and founded the General Security of Indochina for this purpose, accompanied by a pro-French propaganda campaign. In the 1920s, many Vietnamese moved to France, where they absorbed communist ideas. Upon returning to Vietnam, they spread these ideas. In 1940, Japan began to occupy Indochina and by 1941 had almost complete control. The attack on Pearl Harbor led the United States to join the war against Japan. The Vietnamese communists established a clandestine headquarters in Sao Bang province in 1941. In 1935-1936, China promoted the Dong Ming HOI movement in Nanjing to resist Japanese expansion. Ho Chi Minh led the Viet Minh to independence for Vietnam. The Japanese took control in March 1945, but Vietnamese nationalists proclaimed the Democratic Republic of Vietnam under the Viet Minh. The outcome of the war was influenced by Western powers, communists, and nationalist movements fighting for independence from France. Roosevelt's stance on Indochina before his death in 1945 is highlighted. It details the Vietnamese famine of 1945, which killed between 400,000 and 2 million people, caused by typhoons, Japanese occupation, poor French policies, and American attacks. It also mentions Japanese war crimes, including the looting of Vietnamese resources during the famine. The abuse by French soldiers in Vietnam led to the desertion of 400 Vietnamese soldiers in 1948 in the flight of Viet Minh sympathizers to China. Additionally, it details the occupation of northern Vietnam by 200,000 Chinese soldiers from August 1945, who established economic control and expelled French personnel occupying key positions such as the Governor General's Palace. After World War II, the Chinese army occupied northern Indochina and the British the South, with Chinese leaders having no intention of extending their presence in Vietnam. Vietnam men requested international support to prevent a French reoccupation. Franklin Delano Roosevelt had expressed his support for Vietnam's self-determination before his death, reflecting a non-pro-French American stance. In 1948, as the Soviet Union began the Berlin blockade, France aligned with the U.S. and the U.K. amid the growing confrontation between the U.S. and the USSR. During this time, France's strategic importance in Southeast Asia increased due to the rise of communism in China and the Korean War. Concurrently, in August 1945, the Viet Minh led a revolution in Vietnam, taking control of the country and leading to the abdication of Emperor Bao Dai who joined the new government of Ho Chi Minh as an advisor. On September 2, 1945, Ho Chi Minh declared the independence of Vietnam, initiating the Indochina War between the Viet Minh and France. 1946-1954 The brief Democratic Republic of Vietnam was overthrown by France on September 23, 1945. After a failed negotiation attempt, the conflict intensified in 1946. In 1949, the former emperor Bao Dai was reinstated by France, 
and the war escalated to a conventional confrontation with international support, involving modern weaponry and colonial troops of various nationalities. The unpopularity of the Indochina War in France led the government to avoid recruitment in the metropolis, being denounced as a dirty war by the left. The Viet Minh, widely supported in using guerrilla tactics, overcame French difficulties in jungle terrain and French aerial weakness. This culminated in France's defeat at Dien Bien Phu in 1954. The Geneva Accords divided Vietnam into North and South, assigning the North to the Viet Minh, a decision not recognized by the United States and South Vietnam. In 1955, Go Dinh Diem overthrew Emperor Bao Dai and founded the Republic of Vietnam in the South. This act marked the beginning of the Second Indochina War or Vietnam War, which lasted until 1975 with the fall of Saigon. During this period, the conflict was intensified by the intervention of the United States under the administration of John F. Kennedy, who significantly increased the U.S. military presence. North Vietnam, with support from the Soviet Union and China, and the Viet Cong in the South, sought to unify the country, also using the Ho Chi Minh Trail for military supplies. During the Vietnam War, the United States dropped 7.5 million tons of bombs on Indochina, more than triple that in World War II. South Vietnam received the most with 4 million tons, followed by Laos with 2 million, making Laos the most bombed country per capita in history. The rapid fall of Saigon in 1975 surprised observers in the U.S. and Vietnam. A memo from the CIA and U.S. military intelligence, dated March 5, 1975, predicted that South Vietnam could hold out for at least one more year. However, Saigon fell on April 30, 1975, marking the end of the Vietnam War. If you're new to our channel, subscribe and follow our social media in the description. Remember, those who forget their past are destined to relive it.